Hi, my name is Taylor Haynes. And my name is Emily McCracken, and we're Miss Scanlon's third period science class. Today we will be reviewing Newton's laws of motion. Sir Isaac Newton was a scientist who created three laws of motion relating to motion of objects. The first law of motion states that an object at rest tends to stay at rest, and an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. <laughs> For example, hitting a volleyball at rest on a jump trainer will cause the volleyball at rest to become active in a forward motion by Emily swinging at the volleyball, causing an unbalanced force. Another example would be Emily sending a volleyball to herself. The volleyball accelerates upward from Emily pushing the ball. Gravity pulls it back down in a downward motion to Emily's hands. Newton's second law of motion states that the acceleration of an object depends on the amount of mass in the object and the amount of force applied. An example of Newton's second law is Emily pushing me with a great force in a forward motion, then pushing with a small force in the same direction. This is a great example because Emily pushes me with a great force on the first push and a small force on the second push. The greater the force, the farther the mass or object will travel. Another example of Newton's second law of motion is picking up my sister Caitlin and Taylor. Picking up two objects with different masses require different amounts of forces. Because Taylor is lighter than Caitlin, it is easier to pick up Taylor than it is to pick up Caitlin. Newton's third law of motion states, that whenever one object exerts a force on a second object, the second object exerts an equal and opposite force on the first object. An example of Newton's third law of motion would be doing a chest bump. Taylor's body exerts a force on mine and my body exerts an equal and opposite force on hers. This chest bump is kind of a fail, but this was the best one. Go. Go. <laughs> Another example of Newton's third law is a fist bump. A fist bump is an example of Newton's third law because my fist exerts an equal and opposite force on Emily's fist. Please excuse the sound effects. This concludes our video representation of Newton's laws of motion. Bloopers! <laughs> <laughs> we grew fingers! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and we're laughing over absolutely nothing. You're <laughs> <laughs>